Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing with Kai Love's new Art Nouveau collection. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited about this look. I'm excited about a new release and I can't wait to chat about it with you. Before we get into it though, let me just give you my accessory details really quick. These earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. These plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. This choker I got from a shop in Orlando called Prometheus Esoterica. And this is the Sammy button from insert name here. You can use my code BattyBean for 10% off. In this video, I'll be doing close-ups, swatches. I'll be creating the look that you see right here, and I'm really excited to dive in. This collection will have already launched by the time this video goes up, so you'll be able to shop it as long as it's still available, and you can use my code BattyBean to save 10%. It is an affiliate code, and I appreciate it very much if you use it. These products were sent to me as PR, but this video is not sponsored. I just felt like playing with it with you guys. So yeah, let's just hop in, chat about the collection, and then we will dive into the look. First is the Art Nouveau palette. The artwork is so pretty. I love the colors in this. It is so inspiring. I adore it. And then on the inside, we have a Rainbow Dream, 16 pans, a mixture of mattes and shimmers. And while at first glance, I did just think like, oh, it's a typical rainbow palette, I do feel like the tones that they chose there's some really unique tones in here, you know? We have kind of the weird, grungy, antique greeny color. We have almost an indigo shimmer rather than it being like a straight up blue or purple, which I know indigo is in the rainbow, Roy G. Biv, I know that, but you don't typically see that kind of indigo-ish shade in rainbow palettes. I just like the variety in here. I think it's pretty. Am I someone that likes to avidly collect rainbow palettes? No, but I do like Kai Love's formula and I'm really excited to just play with this some more. Obviously I used it in today's video, but I do plan on doing an Instagram video slash TikTok to create another look. So if you need some more inspiration, just stay tuned because that will be coming. And then also part of this collection is their first collab. This is the Daydream palette in collaboration with Sunshine, the B. I actually wasn't familiar with this artist before this collection. I'm really excited to check out her work and just learn more of what she's about because I know she's very heavy into the face painting from what I've seen so far. But this is a water activated paint palette. We have eight shades and these colors are so pretty and I feel like it complements the palette so well and just offers a little something extra, offers some uniqueness. I think these colors are very fun. I will say when I filmed my swatches yesterday though, I did get some stainage. <laughs> So just be mindful of that. Um, it seems like the darker and like pinky shade, like these two are kind of the ones that stained the most. So just be mindful. It's not really something that bothers me. It is what it is. It'll fade when it fades, but maybe just be mindful before you plaster like these two just all over your face. I'm personally not really a face paint person, but I will be using this as like an eyeliner palette. I used it today to help create this little pop of turquoise moment. And I think it's fun. I think the colors are really cool. I like it. I like that it's something new for the brand. I'm excited for their first collab and I'm just excited to watch their brand just grow more and more and just kind of trying out different products and formulas and things. So yeah, that's the breakdown of the Art Nouveau collection. I guess we can just hop in and I'll show you how I created this look. Okay, hello, how's it going? Uh, my cat is acting so obsessed with me all of a sudden. Okay, I'm gonna prime with my Hydra Grip Eye Primer from Milk Makeup. I'm just gonna slather this on and blend it out. Do you wanna say hello since you're already on my chair? Goodness gracious. Oh, Kanade. Okay, so I think I wanna do like a blue, green, purple kind of thing with the cut crease and then I'll use one of the water activated paints as like a liner, like in the crease. Hopefully it goes well. So I'm gonna start with water serpents. Oh my gosh, you see her tail? Can we not? Can we not? <laughs> I'm gonna take this e.l.f. pointed eye pencil brush and this is gonna go in the center of my crease. Oh my gosh, her tail is all over the place. <laughs> Kanade, we had all morning to hang out and now you decide to do this right now, okay. But yeah, this is gonna be my middle shade. On the other side is gonna be purple. On the interior, it's gonna be green. So I'm just laying this down for now, right there. All right, so next up, I wanna start with the inner part. So I'm gonna take Fluidity. And I actually have another e.l.f. pointed eye pencil brush, so I'm gonna use this one. And I'm just gonna start building up the green in the front so that it blends in with the blue. Your shadows blend so easily. I'll kind of go back with my blue brush just to make sure that is flowing the way that I want it to. And I am taking it up fairly high 
just so that I have room for my cut crease to have its moment. All right, next up, I'm gonna take the purple Mystique right there. For this, I have an e.l.f. tapered blending brush, <laughs> just a little bit bigger. And I'm basically just going to pat this in the outer corner and just start kind of letting it flow in with the blue. I'm gonna use a bigger brush to blend and soften the edges and kind of wing it out a bit. But I'm just kind of laying the baseline of it down for now. I do also want to tuck this under my lower lash line. Kanadi's literally right here. <laughs> so if you happen to hear her purring, that is what it is. She's very content watching this process, apparently. <laughs> so kind of like that. And again, I'm going to take my blue brush again just to re-intensify and make sure that the purple and blue blend together seamlessly, which they should because they are right next to each other on the rainbow. <laughs> now I'm just gonna take this old boxy charm uh, SL Miss Glam brush, it's very old. Just a tiny bit more purple and I knocked it off just to make sure it's a very light amount and I'm just gonna go to town on this outer corner just to soften and blend it out so that it flows just nice and soft, you know? And I'll just kind of go back and forth building it up, blending it out until I like the effect that it is giving me. So I am having the hardest time with this outer corner. I don't know if you can tell, but it is just patch city. This purple is not playing well for me on either side. We are just having quite the mess. So we might be doing a fairly dramatic graphic liner situation to try to cover that up. I know someone is going to blame my Hydro Grip Eye Primer because I know some people don't like it. I've personally never had an issue with mine, but I will when I do like my Instagram video with this palette, I will try my Party Proof Primer because this is very odd. I've never had this issue with my Kyle Love shadows in the past, so don't quite know what is going on here, but we're just gonna persevere, you know? And we'll just hope for the best. Now I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer because I use it with every shimmer ever. Gosh, this outer corner looks horrible. I'm just gonna put a little bloop of that on this flat brush from Alter Ego. It's a number eight. Oh, here comes Kanade's tail again. Let's not swing your tail around when I have this sticky product, Kanade. <laughs> I'm just gonna go slightly above my natural crease following the roundness of my eyeball just kind of mapping out where I want my cut crease to be. I just know that I need my makeup to turn out halfway decent. I do work today and I do not have time to like redo it all. I'm gonna take Sensuality. This color is so freaking pretty. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, yes. That's so pretty. And I wanna use the brighter kind of turquoise color as the liner and I think it's gonna pop really well against these kind of jewel tone colors that I have going on. So yeah, again, just kind of going right above my natural crease, following the roundness of my eyeball, and I'm just going to kind of pat and feather it into the outer corner and just try to get it to fade as nice as possible. Obviously, I'm having a little bit of issues out there, but get it faded as nice as possible. I'm gonna take my little purple brush from before, no additional product, just to very, very lightly scoot so that at least the shimmers and mattes kind of flow together nicely. Even though I still have some patchiness, I actually feel like having the shimmer helped a lot. All right, I wanna take the bright yellow now. Kanade is just doing the most right now. Just taking a little pencil brush and I'm just gonna stamp it in the inner corner. So I think the bright yellow inner corner might be quite cute with the colors that I have going on. Add a little bit of warmth. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, let's try to play with this palette. So it's right here. It's already a little dinged up because I did my swatches with it um, yesterday, but I have my water next to me and I just have this little liner brush from Gavisi Beauty. It's just a little just thin liner brush. So I'm just gonna take some of the water and just start kind of swirling it in this product. I have to try to figure out the best ratio. I was having a hard time doing my swatches. It was getting very watery, which I used a bigger brush and probably a little bit too much water. So I'm trying to just use a very small amount at a time to try to get the ratio nicer. With my Gavisi Beauty water activated liners, um, you have to kind of use a lot to get them to be the right consistency. So maybe this just doesn't need as much water. Yeah, that actually seems okay. I just kind of took a tiny bit of water at a time and swirled it around. Now the consistency is kind of just like this creamy texture. So, wish me luck. My idea is just to kind of follow my cut crease. So, moment of silence. Whew, it's one of those things where you really only got one shot to do it. Uh, so now I'm just going to... There we go, that's cute. 
Is it perfect? No, but I'm not a graphic liner expert. But it kind of like camouflaged my patchiness a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to repeat that on the other eye. I wanna be able to like fully concentrate to make them look somewhat the same. And then I'm gonna throw my lashes and eye pencil, probably a color to match that actually. Um, and then something on my lips and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here's the look complete. I actually think it came together really well. I love this. I think the combination of colors is so pretty. And even though I did have the weird patchiness with the purple, I feel like I was able to just turn it out and make it look pretty decent. So again, I'll try again with the other primer just to see, and I'll play with other colors as well. I've never had this issue with Kyla Love Shadows. It could have just been a one-off, but you know, sometimes purples are tricky, so. Who knows? But regardless, I love how it came out. I think it's so pretty. I think the pop of turquoise is so fun with this. I'm obsessed. The eye pencil I threw in is Zulu from ColourPop just to match that pop of liner. My lashes are the Style Heather from Noella Lashes. And on my lips, I went with the ColourPop Boys Town lip pencil with the Essence Flower Blossom Gloss. So yeah, this is my look. I hope you like it. Let's zoom out and I will give you just my thoughts on everything so far. All right, that is my video playing with the new Kai Love Art Nouveau collection. I hope you liked my video. I do love just how this look came out. The more I look at it, the more I love it. I'm glad I was able to kind of make that patchiness work out because I was getting a little nervous, but I truly do love this outcome. I think it is so pretty. Again, I will be playing with the palette again on Instagram slash TikTok, and I'll try to bust this out as much as I can just to get some use out of it, throw some pop of liner on. The more I practice, the easier it'll be. I'm very impressed with how well this worked on the first try because it's very much a you only get one shot sort of situation. You have to just go in with confidence and you can't hesitate too much. That's my biggest advice for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on this collection. Do you want it? Did you already pick it up? Have you tried Kai Love before? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, just leave me some very colorful emojis, the most colorful emojis you got, because I feel like that fits the collection nicely. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie B fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, did you want to? Okay, Kanade also says bye. <laughs>